this tutorial is being uh, presented at the request of Nick from Nick L Trains. He asked that I do a tutorial on the use of the sensor track. So here it goes. The uh, sensor track comes in a box like this one here. In, in addition, there's a manual that explains all of the functions uh, of the sensor track as well as how to incorporate a component into the LCS system. Uh, now you see the uh, uh, underside of an engine uh, and it shows the location of the IR sensor that talks to the sensor track. Um, the sensor track itself, um, you can see there are two sensors and in addition there is a light for programming and a light for recording. Uh, these lights come on when the uh, recording is being played. In addition to the uh, sensors and the lights, there are two buttons, one for programming next to the green light and one for recording next to the red light. I've opened the manual to uh, the two pages that uh, illustrate the manual uh, programming of the sensor track as well as the uh, dialogue associated with the various action numbers that can be programmed uh, into the sensor track either uh, through uh, the CAB2 or as I'll show in, in a few moments uh, an app called HiRail. I'd like to demonstrate the uh, High Rail app that I use to control my sensor tracks because it's just so much easier than the manual uh, programming uh, because I've got sensor tracks embedded in the center of the layout and it's just a pain in the neck. But this app uh, makes life so much easier. It's High Rail. And by hitting that, I connect to my Home network, which is now talking to the Lionel LCS uh, system. And I'll show you, there are the sensor tracks are indicated as uh, six sensor tracks. So you tap on it, it will open them up. And as you can see, there uh, indicates what crew talk uh, will be activated when the train goes over, um, when the engine goes over the track. So in this case, sensor track one, which is right here, somewhere, there it is. Okay. short um, introduction to the high rail app and control of sensor tracks. You can see here's the menu uh, available in the high rail uh, app and as you can see there are uh, the sensor tracks are indicated. They're listed on the right hand side and um, it will also tell you uh, which dialogue you have selected uh, depending on the direction of the the engine. So in this case, on sensor track one, I have indicated that uh, as it moves to the left, it'll say journey is ending. As it moves to the right, it'll say journey is beginning or some equivalent dialogue. So let me show you, for example, I will hit sensor track one. It opens up a, a follow on dialogue and you can do a number of things, one of which is to change the um, dialogue that will be, will be triggered as the locomotive goes over. And also another nice feature, uh, in case you forget or want to re-identify, uh, re-ID your sensor track, they have um, a little program here called Identify. So you touch that and then, for example, I'll take you over here to my sensor track one. Uh, I want to identify it, sensor track one. And so you 
touch and hold it, and it will light up the sensor track. So I have another one over here, which is sensor track two. Um, so I'll show you how that works. So I'll go back to the dialog. I'll close this out, say done. I'll move to track two and touch identify. touch and hold this, and as you can see, sensor track 2 is now lit. Go back to sensor track 1. Okay. So that is another really nifty feature of this uh, program. I'll do a lot of other things that we control your engines. But for this uh, tutorial, that's the uh, high rail sensor track. So, now let me uh, do one more thing. I'll change the. Uh, what I'll do is hit um, the crossing gate uh, signal, and I'll hit set, uh, done, and so you go back to your sensor tracks and then it will say crossing gate signal. And let's listen to the, to the dialogue. I've got the train set up. It will go across the sensor track. You'll see it light up. And hopefully. I'll send it in reverse, but first I will come back here to the high rail, go back to sensor track 1, change the dialog, and as it moves to the left, it should um, do the crossing gate signal again. Let's see if how this works. I thought you might find this of interest. I keep all of my manuals in a three ring binder with uh, clear plastic sleeves that are the exact same size as the manual. 